new videos every day. Hey guys, it's Adrian. On today's video, we're going to be discussing wine. So, what is a cork tease? What's the difference between aroma and bouquet? What is the only book in the Old Testament that doesn't refer to wine? Stick around as we bring you fun and interesting facts about wine. In ancient Greece, a dinner host would take the first sip of wine to ensure his guests that the wine was not poisoned, giving birth to the phrase, drinking to one's health. Toasting began in ancient Rome when Romans would drop a piece of toast into their wine to get rid of undesirable taste or excess acidity. Since wine tasting is essentially wine smelling, women tend to be better because women, especially women of reproductive ages, have a better sense of smell than men. Out of the entire Old Testament, the only book that does not refer to wine or the vine is the book of Jonah. An Italian study claims that women who drink two glasses of wine a day have better sex than women who don't drink at all. The Code of Hammurabi, created in 1800 BC, includes a law that punishes fraudulent wine cellars. This punishment was being drowned in a river. The Vikings called America Vinland, which means wineland or pastureland, because of the profusion of native grapevines they found here in 1000 AD. Wine that tastes watery is said to taste dilute. This may be because it was made with grapes picked during a rainstorm. There is a right way and a wrong way to hold a wine glass. Wine glasses should be held by the stem and not by the bowl because the heat of your hand will raise the temperature of the wine in the glass. Women are more susceptible to the effects of wine than men, partly because they have less of an enzyme in the lining of their stomach, which is needed to metabolize wine efficiently. One ton of grapes makes about 60 cases of wine, or 720 bottles. One bottle of wine contains about 2.8 pounds of grapes. When King Tut's tomb was opened in 1922, the wine jars buried with him were labeled with the year, the name of the winemaker, and comments such as very good wine. These labels were so specific that they would actually meet the modern wine label laws of most countries. A feminine wine refers to a wine that is more delicate than most. A masculine wine refers to wine with a big or full taste. Not all wines improve with time. In fact, a vast majority of wines when produced are ready to drink and do not hold up very well to aging. Only a select few will last more than a decade. Stick around for a future video where we bring you some more interesting, historical, and random facts about wine. Is it true that people used to sacrifice virgins to volcanoes? Find out in a future video where we bring you some facts about volcanoes. How much money do you think that Americans spent on fast food in the year 2006? Tune in for a future video where we bring you some random facts about fast food. All right guys, thanks for watching my video on wine. Please leave me some comments, rate my video, and as always, subscribe. Bye. It's basically wine, wine selling, I mean smelling, smelling, smelling. Who have a better sense of smell. Oh, that doesn't Surprise. make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you're already filming. Ah, we on this, ah. of course, of course I screwed that up has been said to, I don't know, I forgot, already, I just read it and I already forgot it. Mm-hmm, the end.